Man, I just couldn't love this play design anymore here from Oklahoma. So this is the big completion to Bauer Sharp. Kind of gets Oklahoma going here a little bit in the fourth quarter. Um, he's going to attack this guy. Now he's going to do it kind of out on this angle, but just so you kind of know what you're looking at here. Well, let me mute it. Okay, so we're ready to go. And then they're going to boot Michael Hawkins. And it just puts that defender in so much conflict because you know all he has heard is can't let this guy get out of the pocket. Can't let this guy get out of the pocket. And when they run this and then he boots out, this guy is forced to a decision. Look at him and he, okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to play under. And Hawkins just got an easy pitch and catch. That's, that's, that's the kind of easy stuff that we talked about finding for Michael Hawkins all, all last week with, with something. And they, you know, and they take J.J. Hester to run the corner, the play side corner out of the play. That's, that's great stuff, man. And I, I will say, I have almost highlighted a few things Auburn did that I think Oklahoma could use in similar situations where they motioned some guys in different directions and uh, created some matchups. The, the one that I really liked was when uh, they put um, a receiver in motion, and as Woody Washington's having to track back and forth, they wait, and then they call the they, – they snap the ball. Well, Cam Coleman is moving inside as Woody Washington's momentum still taking him outside. He gets a step that, of course, Woody Washington can never make up on a guy like Cam Coleman. And I know I've talked about that play a little bit, but you can do some stuff like that. It doesn't always have to be this hyper-complicated. It can just be simple physics of Cam Coleman's a really good athlete. You get him running underneath Woody Washington, and Woody moving in the wrong direction from the outset – He's going to have trouble ever making up that difference. So stuff like that I just love. Um, nice little toss here to Javante Barnes. Again, I feel like maybe, maybe everybody is starting to accept Oklahoma can maybe run at the tackles. They can't run inside very well. Maybe that improves. you got to keep coming back to it. you got to do it from time to time to keep a defense honest. But – it feels like they're starting to figure out the wide game is where Oklahoma can, can have some success. Look at, look at J.J. Hester. Nice block out here on one. Kicks him out. You know, takes him out of the play. Um, you know, you got Fabetchi Nwiwu, Jake Taylor leading the way there. So, again, just, you know, hey, little momentum here. And I think we're – I believe we're coming up on a mistake here. We'll kind of keep recording as we just go. Um – I think this is Gavin Sawchuk's really nice run. Man, that looked like a man free, didn't it? Like, <laughs> just like, oh my goodness, there's finally space to run into. Like, that's a nice block from Jake Roberts right there. Jake, uh, no, I'm sorry, Michael Tarquin clearing out his guy um, right here, I believe. Let's see. Let's watch it just for a second here. Yeah, there's Tarquin. There's Jake Roberts. Jacob Sexton getting out to the second level, putting his guy on the ground. That's, man, all of a sudden, oh, wait. What do we got here? I, golly. And I think this is about the time in the game or I tweeted, oh, here's Oklahoma shooting themselves in the foot again. Like, maybe, maybe just maybe. Wait, hang on a second. That was Logan Howland. Well, there you go, Logan. I was giving that credit to Michael Tarquin. Local, Logan Howland, they're running off his back. That's, that's not bad. And I think Oklahoma here has another bad mistake, if I'm not mistaken. Penalty, yep. So, you just... <laughs> Um, oh, that was the, I, I was giving Jake Roberts credits. The one he got flagged on, I thought that was ticky tack as hell for what they were letting everybody else go on here. But nothing, you know, here and there, it's a, it's a penalty. Um, Kate McIntyre with a false start. 
Tight end room. Ouch on the penalties. Just ouch. Um, feels like there's more experience than that room should have leading the way in penalties for this team. There's enough other guys that are learning their way through it that aren't making those kind of costly mistakes. Um, so I said something at this point about maybe um, Oklahoma having a little progress on offense and then immediately shoots itself in the foot. And I said something like maybe Auburn can continue their season-long streaks. Little did I know the profit that I was. Um, but yeah, so just a series of plays here that Oklahoma, the good, the bad, and the ugly of Oklahoma's offense in this game. 